After dying several times to an introductory worm boss that Path of Exile 2 had me face, I started to wonder if I was missing something while playing as the Ranger class. The grind to this entry-level boss hadn't unlocked a ton of skill gems for me, and the few I had slotted weren't combining together to make a powerful combo like I had become accustomed to during the Affliction League that's currently ongoing in Path of Exile. Speaking with other, much better players than myself who I met at the event, it turned out that I wasn't the only one who took a try or two on the boss. It was time to get back to the grind and come back at it with better gear. So far I had unlocked Lightning Arrow and Escape Shot, thinking that the AoE Ice Projectile from Escape Shot would help me get out of any tricky situation I had found myself in, but it felt like I had made a mistake pairing this with Lightning Arrow, which arced to two additional enemies near my target. I was also too slow and the mouse controls made it difficult to stand in place and use my bow without walking into a pile of enemies. So I committed and made the change to Waz the controls and that's when this class really opened up. The Ranger is very powerful and being able to precisely move is a gift I didn't realize I wanted from this action RPG. It made me nearly unstoppable even in missions I'd tackle later in the day where I was definitely underleveled. Waz the controls give you complete control of how your character moves on the screen, and while I hadn't used it before in an action RPG, it may now have become my favorite control scheme at least for this particular class. An archer needs to have complete control over their movement, and as Jonathan Rogers said during his opening speech, it helps sell the fantasy they're trying to deliver. That you're Legolas from Lord of the Rings, in complete control of every arrow you release from your quiver. The first thing I do is start working toward my honed instinct passive skill, which would increase my attack speed for the ranger. While on the journey, I also acquired the first piece of gear that would help my build come together, a ring that gives me plus 24 maximum mana. Then I'd find a fire arrow quiver which adds three to five fire damage to my attacks a nice passive boost of damage can go a long way in a fight this alone would be enough to defeat the worm that had given me trouble and finally get me to level six the devourer would drop suede bracers which added more physical damage to attacks added a level to my melee skill gems and most importantly gave me two mana per enemy killed i had also acquired the short bow of the pugilist which would give me a 45% increased stun buildup, which would be extra handy against those lumbering baddies who needed a stun to be taken down quickly. But the next skill gem I received from Renly for defeating the worm is what made the whole thing come together harmoniously. A lightning rod is an arrow that you shoot into the air, creating a lightning burst that will remain on the ground. When you shoot it with your lightning arrow, this will create beams that chain to it and cause the lightning rod to release another lightning burst. It stays there for 12 seconds, an eternity in an ARPG, and it will convert 100% of physical damage to lightning damage with a burst radius of 2 meters. And if all that doesn't sound like much, just know that you can lay down several lightning rods and absolutely melt any pack of baddies coming at you. Or a boss that decided to spawn in the wrong place at the wrong time. It is deadly. After one hour and 30 minutes of game time, what started out as a somewhat slow burn finally clicked for this class. The Ranger had its starting kit, and I felt unstoppable. Anyone who plays a lot of ARPGs knows how good it feels to have something that works for your class after you've played a bit and unlocked a few skills and abilities that pair well together. Path of Exile 2 is proving again that Grinding Gear Games understands how to mix and match different abilities together to make compelling gameplay moments that keep you coming back to get that next piece of gear to make it just a tad bit better. Your war is long over. Jonathan Rogers demoed some of these to me back at Gamescom 2023, showcasing how the Warrior, Huntress, and Druid will mix and match their skills to give players that satisfying loop of gameplay, and Path of Exile 2 is proving yet again that the team gets what the player wants. One example of this team getting it is the drastic overhaul the game has been given since Gamescom. Since that August meeting, the team at Grinding Gear Games has added Waz the controls to every single character, added moving while shooting to all classes, redone many of the animations, and as Rogers said during the introductory presentation, this not only improved Waz the controls, but also had a beneficial effect on how click-to-move felt as well. 
To get into more specifics, we were given a hands-off demonstration of the changes to each class. For the Warrior, the new usable shield was shown alongside a one-handed weapon. By holding a button, you can keep your shield up for full damage immunity, including from spells. Not from the ground or sky, of course, but still a neat option for Warrior players. This guy's holding a shield. It would be really cool if uh, there was a button you could press to hold your shield up uh, and uh, then do active blocking. There is a gauge on this that can fill up for this class, which will stun you out of your block animation. There are some unblockable attacks from bosses that you still need to pay attention to, as noted by a red flash, but still kind of cool that they added this. Attacks for the warrior that have changed include Rolling Slam, which will now add a follow-up if an enemy has been hit with Bone Shatter, which gives enemies another debuff to consider. And we also got a sneak peek at Shield Charge, which knocks down monsters, leaving them vulnerable to follow-up attacks, and you will block attacks while doing a Shield Charge some significant changes to just one of the classes. The Sorceress also benefits from being able to move and shoot at the same time, and the precision Wazda offers makes the class look like one I'd consider maining for the full release. A quick demo of Flame Wall, which sets projectiles ablaze as they pass through, makes even a Spark Flame Wall build viable, according to Rogers. And while my playthrough detailed the early game in Path of Exile 2, we were given a tease of a higher level ranger using the full swath of support gems in a fight. I already love the basic version of Lightning Rod as it gave me a huge boost of damage against enemies, but we were given a sneak peek at the multiple projectile support gem, which would create three arrows each time Lightning Rod is cast, just to give you an idea of one way you could build out your ranger to do tons of damage. Then the chain support gem will make it so your attacks chain an additional time, plus an additional time for each chain from other sources. Put it all together and you create an electric disco death field. And this is just a taste of the electric options the ranger has. They also teased a vine build, poison build, and a ton of support gems you can see over on IGN in our Path of Exile 2 wiki. Besides the fact that they added mounts in Path of Exile 2, yes, you can ride a rower. While riding the rower, you can shoot arrows with no movement penalty. It's pretty overpowered. The most important takeaway from my nearly three hour play session and the 45 minute demo of mid to late game builds from Grinding Gear Games is that Path of Exile 2 is improving in a lot of important ways and taking the lessons others have learned in the ARPG genre to heart. They aren't afraid to delay their highly anticipated beta so players have a better experience. They aren't afraid to implement entirely new systems like WASDA or moving while firing to all classes, and it's because of this commitment to making something great that Path of Exile 2 has my attention. I can't wait to play more, and Path of Exile 2 is one any fan of this genre should watch out for. For more on Path of Exile 2, don't miss our Druid class hands-on preview, as well as some Warrior and Huntress gameplay, and for everything else in the world of video games, keep it locked to IGN.